The sheriff is asking federal drug enforcement agents to help in the investigation into Prince's death. CBS News has learned from law enforcement sources that there were prescription painkillers in the artist's possession and elsewhere in Paisley Park when he died. The Carver County Sheriff has asked the DEA for help tracking where the drugs came from and if they were prescribed to Prince. It's not clear if the medications played a role in his death. Court proceedings over the singer's estate moved forward today. No one has public, publicly come forward with a will or trust. It's not clear just how much his estate is worth, but we learned today that he owned millions of dollars in property near Paisley Park. Reg Chapman has a glimpse at just how much is at stake. People close to Prince will tell you how private he was. He protected that privacy by purchasing property, property that was close to places he frequented, much of it in Carver County and not far from Paisley Park. Prince owned 16 properties in Carver County worth more than $32 million. Paisley Park is worth $7 million alone. The most expensive, this 156-acre property between Lakes Lucy and Ann and Chanhassen worth about $14 million. If you look closely in the upper left-hand corner, you can see Paisley Park not far away. Near the lake property, Prince has several other homes. Prince's sister, Tyka Nelson, asked for a special administrator to temporarily oversee Prince's estate. Definitely this is something that requires on the ground day-to-day -day management. A judge appointed Bremer Trust as a special administrator. If Prince indeed died intestate or without a will, assets need to be protected and decisions made. According to estate planning attorney Kimberly Hanlon, there is still a chance these court filings will mean nothing if someone comes forward with a will or trust. Every day that goes by, the likelihood of there actually being a trust is less and less. Now, Prince may have property in other states, but we're just talking about property he has in Carver County. Now, what's on many people's mind is, what about the music? Prince's vault of unreleased songs could be worth millions, and who will oversee it? Well, guys, looks like we'll have to wait for that answer. And everybody wants to know what's going to happen to that. Music. Yeah, definitely. A lot of questions still, for sure. All, All right. right. Thank Thanks, you, Reg. Reg. And stay with WCCO for continuing coverage of Prince's death and the legal wrangling over his estate.